In this tutorial, we'll master paint mode. Uh-oh. Looks like Connie's having a bad day. Cuthbert got a bit handy with the lawnmower and mucked up her garden. Sorry, Connie. Let's paint her a lovely new one in paint mode. So, to explain, everything you see in dreams is made up of little splats called flecks. They can be big, loose and painterly, or small, tight and smooth. In paint mode, we deal with strokes, like real life painting. Strokes are lines of flecks that you draw in 3D space using your imp. Let's make some now. Go to the assembly menu. If it's closed, just press the square button to open it. Then open the modes menu with X. It's this little group of icons. In the modes menu, select paint mode. It has an icon with a paint squiggle. When you enter paint mode, you'll go straight into the flex menu. And the brush flex tool will be equipped to your imp. See, there's a fleck on the tip of your imp. When you're painting, everything else goes blurry and black and white to help you focus on what you're creating. You can adjust the visual feedback in your preferences, which you can find in the options menu. Try pressing and holding R2 while you move your imp around. And look at that, you're painting. Your imp creates a paint stroke made of a trail of flex. Try changing how hard you press R2 as you paint. With the brush fleck tool, changing the pressure on R2 affects how opaque the flex are. So if you press R2 lightly, the flex will be more transparent. Now press square to open the paint menu so that we can look at some new colors and finishes. Look at the top row of buttons in the paint menu to find them. As well as the flex menu, which is already open, there are also menus for colors and finishes there. You can use these to change the color and finish of your flex. Practice with the brush flex tool and make as many strokes as you like. You can always undo any mistakes with the left directional button. Once you've got a feel for painting, continue to the next